Hey everybody, welcome to Home with the Halsteads and welcome to my kitchen. I don't know about you, but we've had a lot of rain lately and one of my sayings in my cookbook is save for a rainy day. Well, let me tell you, that applies no matter how old you get, you need to save for a rainy day. Doug and I have just had to put a new roof on our house. We never expected to do that. It's only 16 years old, the roof, and so, but we had to do it. And so I'm glad that we saved for a rainy day. And one of the ways that you can save for a rainy day is by cooking at home. And today I'm gonna show you how I make pineapple and ham and serve it over rice. And I know all of you love pineapple because when I put something out here, um, one of my videos that has pineapple in it, y'all just love it and you share it. And so I think you'll do the same for this one. I've already started my rice cooking. I've got it in this little saucepan behind me and it's simmering. It takes about 20 minutes to cook rice. And so while that's cooking, I'm gonna stir this up and this is just another quick and simple recipe. So let's get started. I'm using a half a cup of brown sugar. I'm using the light brown sugar. One half cup of light brown sugar. Two tablespoons of cornstarch. Two tablespoons of cornstarch. One 20 ounce can of pineapple chunks. 20 ounce can of pineapple chunks. Three fourths of a cup of water. Three fourths of a cup of water. Two tablespoons of vinegar, and I'm just using the white vinegar that I have here two cups of cubed ham. Now I just bought the ham in the little packages, the little vacuum seal packages. If you've cooked a ham and you've got some left over, maybe some in your freezer, you could take that out and just cube it. Um, or you can, you've seen these uh, centerpiece cut ham um, or a slab or a piece of uh, center cut ham that's vacuum sealed. You could pick up one of those and use that as well. But I just bought the little uh, cubed in the little packages. So I have two cups of cubed ham. Any way you want to get your ham is fine. And then I just used a small bell pepper that I have rinsed and seeded and I just sliced it up kind of small. So let's um, bring you in close and show you how we're going to put this all together. We'll put it on the stove, we'll cook it while our rice is cooking, and then we'll serve it over the hot rice. I'm using a medium um, saucepan, or um, I call it a deep skillet, um, but I'm going to be using this to um, mix up our um, ham um, and our sauce, really, that we're going to be using. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to mix our brown sugar and our cornstarch. I like to mix dry ingredients together. This is kind of like if you're baking, uh, then you want to mix your um, dry ingredients together. So we're just mixing and getting the little lumps out of it, just like that. And this will dissolve as well, but the main thing that you want to do is just to make sure that that cornstarch uh, is mixed with your brown sugar because the brown sugar is going to, to melt. Now, let's open our pineapple. Normally, I would have drained this before I brought it over, um, but I'm just going to leave the lid halfway on it like that, and I'm just pouring the juice right now into my saucepan with the brown sugar and the cornstarch. I'm just pouring it like that, mixing it as I'm pouring. So I have drained the pineapple, and now I'm going to save the pineapple to add a little later. We'll add our water, three-fourths of a cup of water, stir that around and two tablespoons of vinegar. And I'm using white vinegar. That's one, and that's two. So now what we want to do is to take this over to the stove, and I'm going to start it on medium heat. I'll stir it constantly, and we want to cook it until it's thick and until it's clear. 
So uh, I'll bring you in and show you um, what that process looks like um, as we go along. Okay, our liquid mixture is um, getting thick. You can tell that it is. Um, I've cooked it probably about 10 minutes. So now we're ready to add our other um, ingredients. And the first thing that I'm going to add is the pineapple. Remember, we drained the pineapple and used the juice um, first. Then we're going to add our ham, two cups of ham, and one bell pepper that I have sliced. You could cut it up smaller if you want to. So using my spatula, I'm just mixing this around. Mm -mm. I can taste that pineapple and ham together and this good sauce that we're making to go over it. So now I'm going to let this uh, heat up again uh, because my uh, ham and my bell pepper was cold and it's going to take a minute for it to heat up. So I'm going to heat it back up and I'm going to cook it for about 10 minutes until it all gets really, really hot and the bell peppers kind of get soft. So once uh, that occurs and that happens and we're finished with that, then we'll be ready to um, scoop it over our rice and eat it. Okay, we're ready to serve our ham and pineapple over rice. It's all done and it didn't take but just a few minutes uh, to do that. In fact, my timer is about to go off and so I'll just step over there and turn it off when it does um, go off. But I have a tip for you. How many of you cook rice and it sticks together? Well, let me tell you a little tip and I'm showing you right here. I, this is a cup of rice that I cooked. I put two and a half cups of water in it and I added about four drops of lemon juice and that helps it to keep from sticking together. So if you're having a problem with your rice sticking together, put you a little lemon juice in there and see if that won't help to keep it from sticking together. So let me turn my timer off and now we're going to serve our rice and our ham and pineapple. So I'm just dipping some rice on this little plate that I have here. That's probably about, it's probably over a cup. We'll set that aside and now we're going to put this luscious ham and pineapple on top of it. Mm, 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 mm. Let's put a little pepper in there as well. Look at that. I'm going to put some more. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to want a lot of this. Look at that. Mm, mm. That's going to be so, so delicious. I can't wait to taste it. Okay, friends, until we meet again, I hope that you will try some ham and pineapple over rice and that you'll share our video with your friends, that you'll tell our, your friends about our Facebook page, and that you have a blessed day. I will see you again really, really soon, but I, right now I'm going to taste this. I'm going to show you up close what it looks like. It's so good, and you're going to want to serve this hot as well. So I'm going to get some pineapple and some ham and some rice. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm, that's good. Pineapple makes everything good. Have a blessed day. See you soon.